The stark rise in teleworking needs amplifies the demand of the extension of corporate resources delivered remotely. Simplicity and agility are two attributes you'll want to seamlessly enable this transition while keeping your business secure. Extreme Cloud IQ does just that with the auto provisioning of Layer 2 VPNs straight from the cloud, enabling employees to stay productive at home, connecting to the corporate SSIDs mapped to the corporate VLANs and subnets, all accessible through the VPN tunnel and extended where you need them. There are two workflows you want to consider. There's the IT administrator and the end user. So starting with the IT administrator, you'll want to make sure you have a predefined network policy with Layer 2 VPN services enabled. And it's very simple to configure. Your VPN server is accessible under Managed Devices, which is the first requirement. You can operate in a Layer 2 or a Layer 3 mode, and here you'll see the different configuration options that have already been configured for this policy. It's been pre-configured with the corporate SSID and the authentication requirements. If you don't already have the policy configured, you can easily set that up under additional settings, network services, and then layer two IPsec VPN services. The pool of resources listed here are for the remote APs. These are gonna be the pool of IP addresses they'll be using inside the IPsec VPN tunnel when connecting from home. You can also enable VPN access for a specific user profile. You can set up multiple user profiles and have them assigned to a unique corporate VLAN mapped to a corporate subnet. Now onto the end user experience. We definitely wanna make sure this is simple and easy for the remote worker to set up their VPN services without having to require too much. Before you ship the remote user their new AP, you'll wanna take some provisioning steps ahead of time. We'll wanna add a new user access to the corporate VPN. So this begins with just adding the new remote worker's device. In this case, we'll be adding the Atom AP130. You just input the serial number of the device, choose the location, which is someone's house in this case, select the pre-configured policy, and just click Add. Instantly, you'll see the device in the database of Extreme Cloud IQ. It is red because it hasn't been connected by the end user from their home. So then you ship the device, the end user receives the package via mail, and all they need to do is connect the AP to their router at home. The AP gets an IP address as soon as it's connected to the local gateway. And in an experiment I did with my colleague, we had him time how long it took for his AP to connect to Extreme Cloud IQ. And you can see in just a few minutes, the device is now green in the cloud dashboard, and then it contacts Extreme Cloud IQ downloads the teleworker network policy, and the device sets up the VPN tunnel without any additional effort from the remote worker, which tells me this new remote user is off to the races. Of course, the green status color will indicate that it's up and running, but let's just confirm with show IP tunnel. Confirming the remote worker is connected properly from their home, a quick test would be to just connect to the corporate SSID that should now be visible in their devices. And we can see Connectivity is a go. So keep in mind simplicity, ease of use, agility, and scalability with Extreme Cloud IQ as you adjust for your teleworking needs. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out new videos each month on the many features available in Extreme Cloud IQ.